What's up nerds? Drea here. Um, finally back with a new video. Uh, I am going to continue with Manga March, but we're not going to call it Manga March because it's probably no longer March by the time I'm uploading this video. And there's actually a good reason for that. So remember when I said at the start of Manga March where every time I try to do a theme month in March, something goes wrong? Well, this time nothing went wrong, something went right. <laughs> I finally got a job, a full-time 40 hour a week job, and I have been exhausted. I actually planned to make this video last week, but I was so tired after work, seeing as I haven't worked a full-time job since 2016, that I just didn't have time to do it. I did have time to write the script, but I didn't have time to film. But yeah, we're gonna continue with kind of what my schedule was a little bit, um, we'll see. But yeah, things will be a little bit different. We'll see how it works out. Just kind of bear with me as I try and uh, figure out how I'm going to fit video making and all of my Instagram stuff into my new work schedule. Don't know exactly how it's gonna work yet, but we'll see. <laughs> So today we're actually going to talk about one of my favorite manga, and I've actually mentioned it before. I mentioned it at the beginning of the month in my um, Look at My Manga collection. So we're going to talk about With the Light Raising an Autistic Child, and this is by Keiko Tobe. So I first discovered this manga just randomly searching through stuff in high school, and at the time I had never really heard of autism. I didn't see it on TV, I'd never to my knowledge met anyone with autism, and I'd never read about it in any book until this one. So this book was truly my first introduction to anything involving autism. And from what I understand as someone who hasn't been diagnosed with autism but have been told by several people that I'm definitely on the spectrum, this seems like a very good resource and a very good story. Now before we get really into the review of the story, I do want to talk about how this story is set in Japan. And that comes with a ton of different cultural type things that don't really make a ton of sense here, um, kind of, but we don't really have any equivalents to it. The one big thing that does have an equivalent here is that Japan is a very conservative country. For people watching this who aren't really used to seeing Japan as conservative and really only know Japan from anime and wacky game shows and commercials, this can be a little bit surprising. I would suggest that watch some Japanese dramas or watch some sh like shoujo anime instead of shonen because you'll get a better picture while I mean it's not exactly a clear picture because it's still all fiction but you'll get a clearer picture. Because Japan is so conservative that's actually why you have like the boom in otakuism, you have kogals, you have lolita fashion, you have the Japanese underground punk scene, you have all these different things that they're doing to go away from the norm. So I'm actually going to make a super super broad statement and I need you to bear with me because I know it doesn't apply to even all of Japan, but this is what I have observed through my studies. Japan as a country does not like deviations from perceived normalcy. And that's in almost all aspects. And like I said, this is just from what I understand and what my experience is, feel free to argue with me in the comments, I'm always willing to learn more. And with that lack of deviation, that's where With the Light fits in. So in this story, we actually follow a newlywed couple who have just had their first baby. Like the birth goes fine, the baby is happy and healthy, she names him Hikaru because that means that he is her light of hope. That's where the title With the Light comes from, Hikaru means light. But a few months after she takes him home, she realizes that she, he does not like it when she picks him up. And she starts noticing all kinds of strange things that don't really make sense to her. She tries asking other mothers around and they're like, well, my child doesn't act like this. There must be something wrong. She even thinks that maybe he might be deaf because he refuses to acknowledge her in any way. She goes from doctor to doctor and specialist to specialist and nobody knows what's going on until she finally meets someone who suggests that he might be autistic. And I do want to note that the autism featured in this manga is very, I'd say it's what we think of when we think of autism. However, there are other characters in the book who also have autism who are completely different. And I think that's a really great thing to note is that not everybody who has autism has the same things going on. 
And so the mother, Sachiko, she doesn't really know what to do. Uh, she doesn't know how to handle it. Her husband is not helping. It's putting a huge strain on their marriage to the point where she actually leaves for a little while because he doesn't seem to want to acknowledge that Hikaru is part of the family anymore. But Sachiko is super, super strong. I love her. And she takes the time to not only educate herself, but educate the people around her, work with Hikaru, um, figure out how to communicate with him. They communicate through pictures and gestures and they get him on a routine. And he eventually is able to go to school and he makes friends and it's a fantastic story. And I love it so much. So the manga basically goes through his entire life, basically early, like birth to early childhood to middle school to we'll get there but um this story is just it's so heartwarming and it's heart-wrenching there are so many parts that just made me sob and it's so so beautiful so i do want to note that this manga was published in 2007 i'm not sure exactly when it was written um and it does actually have educational resources sprinkled throughout each volume I don't know how valid they are. I have not looked into every single one of them, but um, the ones I have looked up seem to be very legit and interesting. Also something to know is that while there are technically eight volumes, really there are only about seven and a quarter. Unfortunately, the author Keiko Tobe, she passed away before she could finish the volumes. She left her storyboards behind, but they're very hard to understand. Uh, so. It's actually very unfortunate. We were going, we were getting to Hikaru going to high school and it was, it's very sad. It's very sad that somebody passed away, obviously, but it's also sad that we will never see the story, like, get to its end. To see Sachiko's biggest wish to make sure that Hikaru becomes a functioning adult. Uh, we'll never get to see that dream come true and that's very very sad and it's all very sad <laughs> and it makes me sad every time I read volume 8. It's but despite that, I really like this manga. I really, I highly recommend it to anyone, even if you don't read manga, read this. It's very easy to, it's very easy to understand. They make everything super clear. Um, it teaches you so many different things. Like I said, I didn't know what autism was before I read this book. So this could be somebody's introduction and could teach them how to be more compassionate to people. Um, I think my biggest thing uh, with autistic people is that people do, who don't have autism aren't willing to sit down and learn and Sachiko makes a point in the book to sit make see people sit down and learn and she, and she realizes like not everybody wants to learn not everybody thinks that autism is a real thing which it totally is and um, she makes a point to try and educate as many people as she can but if people don't want to be educated she's like Okay, well then I don't need you around my side. I do like that strongness in her. She's so strong and she's she's like in her like, I wanna say either late 20s or early 30s, like my age and I, I really admire that. So in the description box, I've also put some other resources, um, some current ones um, to learn and to donate um, to autism, autistic causes and things like that. I've also included a link to stop um, Asian American and Pacific Islander hate. I usually don't like to talk about things like this, but as an anime fan, I feel like it is my responsibility to do that. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to leave me a like and leave a comment down below what your favorite educational type manga are. Please subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you're notified when I finally upload another video. Please have a great rest of your day, week, month, and year, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! I haven't been recording the audio. Okay, well, I guess I won't be doing that. I hope I've been very, very loud. <laughs> I think I have.